Hey guys, in today's episode of How to Wire It, we're going to take a look at servo motors. Now, servo motors are motors that have built-in gearing, so they're not just a, a motor metal case. They have built-in gearing, and they're built to move in very precise, small movements. And usually a servo motor does not allow for continuous rotation, so it will rotate usually either about 180 degrees or about 90 degrees. That being said, there are also servos that allow for continuous rotation, and you can either modify a stock servo like this yourself or go out and buy one that is already pre-modified for continuous rotation. But the basic idea is the servo is not for high-speed rotation. It's meant for relatively low speed, precise movement. So this would be great if you want to control a robotic arm or something like that, but would not be great if you're building a robot that, you know, is like a remote control car that scurries along the ground with wheels. So today we're going to take a look at how to wire that up. And the most common thing that trips people up when wiring a servo are the wire colors on the servo because although these both have differently colored wires those wires are actually corresponding to the same connections so i have some of the most common wire colors on screen now but the basic idea is generally there will always be a red wire and that is almost always your positive power so on motors like these that's going to be five volts and then there will often be either a black or a brown wire, and that wire is ground. And then the third wire is going to be your signal from your Arduino or other microcontroller to control the position of the servo. So let's wire up this little mini servo here to our Arduino to see how that works. So I have three wires. That's all you need for this tutorial. And I'm going to start with the black wire, which on this servo is corresponding to the brown ground wire. And I'll plug that into ground. And I have my red positive wire, and that will go to the red wire on the servo and to my positive supply voltage on my Arduino. And lastly, I have an orange wire here. And that is going to be my control wire to control the position of the servo. And I'm going to pop that into my Arduino pin 9. So that's all there is to wire up the servo. Let's now go take a look at the code that makes this run. So here you can see the sweep servo demo code. And you can find this code here built right into your Arduino program. If you go to File, Examples, and scroll down until you get to servo and go to sweep. So that's this program right here. And it's a pretty simple program, but let's go through it step by step. The first thing is that we include the servo library and that just allows us to create a servo object so that we can actually talk to the servo and control it. And that's where we create our my servo object. So this is the object that holds the pin number, holds the current state of the servo, all of that. Now, we also have a position variable, and this is our variable that we're going to keep track of to know where we want to move the servo to next. And so in setup, all we do is we just do this one little line of servo.attach, and that's pin 9, so I plugged the servo into pin 9 on my Arduino. And this just sets it up so that the servo is ready to receive commands. And then in the loop, we have two for loops that basically just do the opposite of each other. So the first for loop, we move from, we take position and we start it at 0, POS and start it at 0. And we're going to loop through this until POS position is less than or equal to 180. And then each time we run through the loop, we are going to increment position by one. So this is going to start with position at zero 
and go all the way up to 180, and that corresponds to degrees on the servo. And we're going to each time move by one degree. Now, inside that loop, we do my servo dot right, and this just lets you set the specific degree that you want the servo to move to. And we are gonna wait just a couple of seconds to allow the servo to actually move to that position. And then we'll just keep looping through until we get to 180 degrees. The second for loop does the exact opposite. It starts at position 180, which is where this one left off. And it runs as long as position is more than or equal to zero, each time going down by one degree. So then we just write it and wait again a little bit to let the servo actually move to that position. And that's all there is to it. So let's go ahead and watch it run. So you can see that the servo is rotating very precisely back and forth. Now, I actually went ahead and modified this sketch here earlier because I know that this servo can't actually move a whole 180 degrees. So instead it's moving more around uh, 100 degrees or about 90 degrees. So I modified this sketch a little bit to correspond to this servo, but the general idea is the same. You can basically just tell the servo to move to whatever position you want it to go to, and it will go there. So yeah, it's not too hard to get one of these little guys set up and running. They can be a little daunting to the beginner, so I wanted to show you guys exactly how they work. And yeah, they're really, really useful tools, especially if you're doing anything mechanical, you need a very precise rotation or anything like that. They're great little motors. All right, well, that's all there is for this video. I'll see you guys next time.